Hi, we're the Y Valley Youth Rangers and today we're at Mean Farm doing dry stone walling and I have with me Chris who is the dry stone walling instructor. How long have you been dry stone walling for? It must be well over 20, 20, between 20 and 25 years since I started on doing something exactly like you're doing today. Going on a short course for a, over a couple of days over a weekend uh, having a go at it and see if I liked it and from there the rest of they say is history. Today we're out with the youth rangers and we're at Meand Farm and this farm is owned by Kate Humble and um, it's run by Sarah and Tim who are the tenant farmers here and it's a mixed farm so we've got um, cattle and um, sheep um, as part of the farm here and a range of different kinds of boundaries all around the farm so we've got dry stone hedges, fences and we're um, today having a look closely at how those um, features figure in this kind of landscape. Hello and welcome to Mean Farm. We're here with the Harrowfordshire cattle making friends with the cows. So what is Humble by Nature? Humble by Nature is uh, a small business we're running on this farm to try and make uh, a bit of extra income. It's quite hard for farmers to make an income on a small farm, so we're starting a small business to run courses here for people who want to know a bit about, well, we're calling it rural skills. So that's either looking after animals, so it could be sheep or pigs or chickens. We could also be uh, learning how to make a dry stone wall or uh, hedge laying, or we could do all sorts of things in the future. Yeah, I love farming. I was born and bred on a farm, and that was the only thing I ever wanted to do, really. Um, it's uh, what I always say is a, a best office I could, I could wish for, really. So what's your favourite course? Um, we've only done a few so far. I think the one I most wanted to learn most from, but actually by watching it, was the hedge laying course. we of making a natural living hedge that actually stops the sheep getting through, because a lot of the sheep here uh, like escaping through any hole they can find. If you make a natural hedge by you kind of let you chop, you almost chop through some of the, the hedges and you lay them sideways and then you fill them up with lots of dead wood and put stakes in and bind it around the top. And it makes a really beautiful looking uh, natural hedge that will last for 10, 20 years maybe. We've had a great day dry stone walling. Um, it was really cold at first, but when you get into it, like you warm up really quickly. And it, I mean, it was quite hard to get all the rocks out, and like we really had to like use our shovels quite well. Um, but um, right now we're like putting the bigger stones, like um, to form the base of it, so then we can like build up the wall gradually. Yeah, it's been quite complicated for all the physics, but I think I definitely have learned some really good techniques for dry stone walling. Um, I think clearing the rocks was definitely the easiest part um, and getting stuck in has been really good fun. It's been a really, really fun day and can't wait to do some more.